Well, folks, not a big fan of uh, San Diego Charger, but uh, Men's Idea is on tonight's uh, special guest on uh, KCAL 9 Sports uh, Sunday night. So uh, let's see what he has to say, and uh, it's pretty good. I think it's going to be the next junior sale. So here we go. Cup standings for the first time in his career. Now, the Chargers defense has been steadily improving over the past couple of years, making that jump into the top 10 in total defense last season. That's thanks in part to the talented group of young defenders San Diego's brought in. Linebacker Manti Teo is a big part of that improving unit, despite battling through injuries in his first two years in the NFL. Now in his third season with the team, Teo is truly starting to settle in. I'm so much more comfortable uh, in my element. I'm very, very uh, familiar with how things go down. I know you mentioned a couple of weeks ago that this could be and should be a big year for you. What, what did you mean by that? Well, it should be a big year because I, it's not like I didn't put in the work the um, last few years, but this year I had the confidence with that work, and I really, you know, I really worked hard. And you know, as you know, as a player, when you put in the work necessary, you know, the confidence comes with it, and hopefully, you know, the rest is in the Lord's hands. But Hopefully everything just works out. I like the slogan that you guys have this year, which is all in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all in. It's all in every day, 24-7, 365. And if we're all in, nothing, nobody can beat us. So, uh, you know, everybody's got to put everything they have. It's a short amount of time. So everybody give each other the best they got, and you know, it'll be fun. When you first came into the league, there were great expectations, and you had your ups and downs, and the downs were mostly because of, of injuries and stuff. You get discouraged? Oh, definitely. I'm not going to lie. You know, it's hard. You know, I got impatient. I got anxious. You know, I was, a lot of times at night, I would pray and be like, Heavenly Father, what's going on? You know, this is not this is not what I'm used to, but, you know, everything is on the Lord's time. And, you know, and for me, I just had to be patient. I had to continue to work hard and continue to persevere. And, you know, everything started to click last year to the end, and you know, that's how to get things rolling. And now, hopefully, um, this year, I can continue that. How did everything slow down for you? Because... I know what it was like, and I hear you talk about it sometimes. The game has slowed down, and now you're able to play with more confidence and aggression. It comes with, one, knowing where you got to be, you know, knowing what's expected of you, knowing every play, knowing where you have to be on the field, where so and so's going to be, where's Donald going to be, where's Eric going to be. And well, by knowing where they're going to be, it'll help you explain why you got to be at a certain place. And so once I understood that, you know, it's all about making that play. You know, as you know, you have to have that play, that one play where... It, it happens, and you're like, man, I can do this in the NFL. And, you know, I had that play against the Patriots when I got that pick against Tom Brady. And, you know, it was just that affirmation for me that, you know, I, I, can, I can play in this NFL league. Do you guys think much about the noise that's out there about the possibility of moving? Uh, no, we don't. You know, we're, we're just focused on this year, and we know for sure that we'll be in San Diego. We love it here. You know, as players, we love playing here. We love our fans. And so... You know, if this is our last year, we're going to make it the best year we can make it for not only us, but most especially our fans. So um, that's that's what our focus is, is this year in that stadium and Qualcomm, making sure it's rocking, you know, every single game. This team this year is, is a little different than in years past, isn't it? Feel, you feel that? It's yeah. a different feel about it. Yeah, a little different you know? vibe. Yeah, we're all kind of closer. We're a little closer. I know a little bit more about so-and-so. He knows a little bit about me. And, you know, it shows on the field how we play. We play as one. We understand that it's going to take everybody on the team to really achieve the goal where we want to be. So, you know, that's, that's where we are. I know you're a man of purpose, of style. What does, like, certain tattoos mean to you? Everything means something to me. Yeah. My last name, obviously. My number, 5050 Hawaii. My tattoo, you know, everything represents me. I've always been told, remember where you come from, who you are, who you represent, you know, and I represent a lot of people. When I die, the only thing that's going to stay here is my last name. And hopefully people have good things to say about that last name. And I hope that everything I do on the field and off the field in my life brings a lot of honor to that. Brings a lot to my culture, to who I am, and to my family. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Love to see him play 16 games this season. Time for a final break, but you know we can't conclude a Sunday night without our final tips. Which... Oh, here we go. Men's Tale, 2015. Let's see what happened. But uh, y'all already know. I'm a Raider fan, though. <laughs> Peace.